بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أيها الأحباب continue on in our study of Shah Sunnah by Imam Babahari رحمة الله عليه the abridged uh, version we read the statement of the of Imam Babahari where he says about the asas or the foundation of the jama'ah he says well asas aladhi tubna alayhi al jama'ah وهم أصحاب أصحاب محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم رحمهم الله أجمعين وهم أهل السنة والجماعة فمن لم يخذ عنهم فقد ضل وابتدع وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة وأهلها في النار وأهلها في النار. The Sheikh Imam Babahari رحمة الله عليه said the foundation upon which the jama'a is built upon is the companions of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam radiyallahu ta'ala anhi majma'in they are ahl sunnati wal jama'ah so whoever does not take from them has gone astray and innovated and every innovation is misguidance and misguidance and his people are in the fire and that ibadah alone we could break down but let's keep it as concise as possible and try to stick as much as possible with the statements of the ulama uh, and this section of the treaties illustrates for us that the companions are the foundation of the jama'ah. And as we mentioned, the main body of Muslims uh, forms the jama'ah. This is in our time and in general. But also another definition or another reference to the jama'ah, and this is the, uh, the, the foundation, as Imam Baba Hadi said, he said, Well, asas aladhi tubna alayhi al-jama'ah, wuhum ashab Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam rahimahullah, he said, the foundation upon which the jama'ah is built is the companions of Muhammad sallam, This is the assass of the jama'ah. This is the origin of who the jama'ah is, of the, the main foundation of the Muslims. This is when we say, Ahl sunnati wal jama'ah. This is the origin because it is, comes from Kitab Allah wa sunnat Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and it comes from the uh, uh, the, with the understanding of the Sahaba. And as is shown by the hadith of uh, a Tirmidhi, Abdullah bin Amr uh, radiallahu ta'ala anhu said, the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, what happened to the children of Ismail will happen with my ummah. Just as one shoe resembles the other. To the point that if one of them had intercourse with his mother openly, there would be someone who did that in my ummah. The children of uh, Israel, I'm sorry, the children of Israel, uh, split into 72 sects, and my ummah will split into 73 sects. All of them uh, are in the fire except one. They asked, who is that, O Messenger of Allah? He replied, that which I and my companions are upon, declared Hassan by Shaykh al-Bani. Ayol Ahbab, we mentioned this hadith many times, uh, the hadith of Iftiraq, and in that narration, which was a narration in Tirmidhi, the hadith of uh, Abdullah bin Amr, radiallahu ta'ala anhu, who said that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, what happened to the children of Israel will happen with my ummah. Just as one shoe resembles the other, to the point that if one of them had intercourse with his mother openly, there would be someone who did that in my ummah who would follow that. A'udhu billah. By Allah, this is what we see. We see this in our time. We see that the most evil behaviors that are happening in the world, that Muslims follow that behavior too. Swingers, um, you know, all kind of open adultery and uh, drug use and, and everything you could think of that's evil. See, even the most extreme actions like this, how can you imagine? And we don't want to imagine, but someone having intercourse, because the Prophet ﷺ mentioned it, someone having intercourse with their mother, and the Muslims would even follow them in that. The Prophet ﷺ said in another hadith, The Prophet ﷺ said, You would follow the, the, ones who, the people who came before you, Arm span by arm span, uh, uh, foot span by foot span, 
even if they entered the hole of a lizard, which is a, there's a very famous lizard here in Saudi Arabia called the Dhab. The Dhab uh, is something that Khalid bin Walid, radiallahu ta'ala, he, his people used to eat. And some of the Bedouins, some of the Bedouins, they still eat this, they hunt this lizard. They hunt it. Pretty soon the season will come. As it gets hot, the lizard comes out and they have their various ways of hunting this lizard. And this lizard, the Dhab, he lives in a very, he's not easy to catch. And I've talked to many people here and they say one of the ways they catch them is they will back their pickup trucks and they will use exhaust, uh, attached to their exhaust pipe or something like this, a tube or a hose that goes into the hole of the lizard and it flushes the lizard out. Why? Because the lizard, the bub, his hole is a windy cave. He lives in like windy caves. He doesn't live just like in a straight little den, but it's very hard to get him out. And he bites too. And they have to surgically, you know, they have to cut his head off to remove him from biting him. The point being is the Prophet ﷺ made this to be this resemblance. He say, Lo the Khaltamuhu uh Kala Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, let the Runa Sunam and Kana Kablo Hudlu or Kudla Tibul Kudla Hatalo Dakalo Juhara Dabla the Khultamu, that even if you they entered, you would follow the nations that came before you. Even if they entered the whole of the Bub, you would enter it. Because that's not an easy task. And it shows that we are eager to follow. And may Allah forgive us and guide us and help us to get away from that. Because all of us have this, especially those of us who've, well, I, I'd say, in fact, it's, it's all nations from amongst the, 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 from the Muslims. We have those who were born Muslim and who live in Muslim societies who are running to look, look like the West, be like the West. They have the, the Mohawks, very popular in Saudi Arabia. They have this, some Muslim countries, the tattoos, when all this is clear from 1400 years ago of being impermissible. Everything that they do, we do, we follow. We follow. And no matter how difficult it is, no matter what we need to do to get to attain that evil, we will do it. La you would you would enter it. And, and these ahadith illustrate for us the danger of following those other nations that we have a sunnah, we have a way, we have a way that we should be proud of and we should adhere to for the sake of our own souls. And we should stick to the main jama'ah of the Muslimin, follow their way, not the way of uh, other people and other nations that don't have anything to offer us for the hereafter. That doesn't benefit you that you uh, can dunk like so-and-so or, or what have you, and I'm not knocking people who like to play basketball or watch b basketball, but to indulge to such an extent that you're spending your wealth, your time, your energy involved in the latest team, the latest soccer team, the la on this side of the world is soccer. In our country, it's basketball, it's NBA or it's NFL, but to involve yourself so deeply, immerse yourself in following that and wanting to look and be like those individuals instead of following the companions of the message of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is a big mistake and it's something very dangerous and it can lead you to the hellfire وَعِيَادُ بِاللَّهِ مِنْ ذَلِكَ Then uh, it was authentically reported that the message of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said stick to my sunnah and the sunnah of the rightly guided khalifs after me and this is the hadith that you'll find in Sunan Abi Dawood and reported by Imam Ahmed wa Tirmidhi wa Ibn Majah uh, and Sunan Ibn Abi Asim, uh, the hadith of where the Prophet ﷺ said that a sami wa ta, isma wa ti, wa I've forgotten the hadith of the Prophet ﷺ, but the left the meaning of the hadith is that the Prophet ﷺ said that the uh, that you should hear and obey the Muslim authority in Abdin Habashi in Asami wa Ta Al Mariya Mus uh in Abdin Habashian for in who may Aish Minkum Badi for Sayara Khalaf and Kathira. فعليك بسنتي وسنة الخلفاء الراشدين المحديين عذو عليها بالنواذج وإياكم المحتتر الأمور فإن كل بدعة ضلالة The Prophet والسلام, said Hear and obey even if your leader was an Ethiopian slave For verily those who live after me 
we'll see many differences. And as we see many differences, Wallahu Musta'an. For Sayyidah Akhtalaf and Kathir, are going to see many differences of opinion, many, uh, many differences. And then the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam gave us a prescription. For Alayhi Kibi Sunnati wa Sunnat al Khulafa al Rashidin. It's upon you, my Sunnah, and the Sunnah of the rightly guided uh, Khalifat. Uh, and then he said, grab onto it, cling onto it with your molar teeth, and beware of uh, newly invented matters, for every newly invented matter leads astray. And also the hadith of Jabir radiallahu ta'ala anhu reports that the Prophet وسلم, would say in his khutbah, in the khutbah to Hajjah, فَنَّ الْأَسْكَ الْحَدِيثِ كِتَابَ اللَّهُ خَيْرًا هَدِي هَدِي مُحَمَدٍ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ وَشَرُ الْمُورِ مُحْدَثَاتُهَا وَكُلُ مُحْدَثَةٍ بِدْعَ وَكُلُ بِدْتَةٍ دَلَالَ وَكُلُ دَلَالَةٍ فِي النَّارِ The Prophet ﷺ said the most truthful speech is the book of Allah. The best way is, to, is the way of Muhammad ﷺ. And the worst of affairs are the novelties or are the innovations. And every innovation is, uh, every novelty is an innovation or newly invented affairs. Uh, is an innovation and every innovation is misguidance and every misguidance is in the hellfire. And very important for us to understand when we're talking about bid'ah here, we're referring to bid'ah in the religion of Islam, that there's no newly invented uh, way of coming closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, meaning there's no new type of ibadah, ibadat, there's no ziyadah, there's no increasing in the ibadah that we have. You know, to say, well, Fajr, I want to make four rakat now, now that it's the 21st century, or what have you. We want to do this, we want to do it this way. But instead, our ibadat is perfected in the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and illustrated for us in the sunnah of the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And every newly invented way in ibadah, in related to the religion of Islam, leads you to the hellfire and misguidance. But this is not referred to technology and newly inventions. This is not, this is not bid'ah, as they say, bid'ah lohui, bid'ah or, in a, uh, you know, innovation as a linguistic term, referring to uh, the fact that now we have ACs. Of course, I don't have an AC in here yet, but we have, uh, we have um, the laptop, the camera, the, uh, all these things that did not exist in the time of the Prophet, that has nothing to do this is not the bid'ah that is, is referenced here, but newly invented matter refers to those things which are in reference to the religion of Islam. We're talking about bid'ah in the religion, that the religion is perfected. Al-yawm, akmaltu lakum deenakum wa atmamtu alaykum ni'mati wa uradaytu al-islam adina. Adina. Uradaytu islam, islam adina. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, this day I perfected my religion upon you. Uh... And I have chosen Islam for you as your religion, uh, completed my favor upon you, and I've chosen for you Islam, my religion, uh, to the rest of the ayah, showing us that Islam has already been perfected by Allah Azza wa Jal, and that uh, following, restricting ourselves to the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet وسلم, is our success, and the Jama'ah, and the Jama'ah, which is Ahl Sunnah, which is the Sahaba to Rasul, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Radiallahu Ta'ala, Anim Ajma'in. Abu Shama. Uh, Rahmatul said in 665 Hijri, the order to stick to the Jama'ah means sticking to the truth and its followers. Even if those who stick to the truth are few, and those who oppose it are many, since the truth is that which the first Jama'ah from the time of the Prophet وسلم, and his companions were upon, no attention is given to the great number of people of futility coming after them. That's an incredibly important athar or narration upon our salaf, meaning those who preceded us, <coughs> but it's not from the, ori the origin of the first three generations, but it shows you he articulated very precisely the importance of adhering to the truth, that you should allow, always allow that to be your bar barometer. Do not adhere to personalities, do not adhere to groups and sects and just the fact you call yourself this or you call yourself that. Because as the ulama state, al-ibra bi haqaiq laysa bi musammiyat, that the proof of something is not in its name, but it's in its reality. So if in reality you are Salafi, you're practicing the sunnah, the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, in reality you're practicing Ahl Sunnah, it doesn't matter that you called yourself Ahl Sunnah, or you called yourself Salafi. That's not in and of itself a proof. But the proof is in what you practice, and what you preach, and what you uh, understand. 
It's your knowledge and it's your practice and it's your fit. All of these things and your, your manners, all of these things make up following the sunnah, following the salaf, following the minhaj of the salaf. It isn't sufficient enough. There are many people who call themselves salafi and they are takfiri and they are uh, with other jama'at and in fact they have more agreements with the khwana muslimin than the salafis or than ahl sunnati wal jama'at. So it's not in a name. The ibra, al ibra bi haqaiq laysa bi musammiyat. The proof is in the in the origin of something, not in its name. So it's imperative that we, no matter what, that we stick to the guidance of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And we follow the companions, radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'een, and try to understand how they practice and understood the, the text, the nasus, the Qur'an, and the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and adhere to their minhaj, their methodology. Then we'll have success. But when we depart from that, we lend ourselves uh, to sh destruction. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and to the next time we'll continue and we'll mention some of the fuay that Shaykh uh, Allama Rabi bin Hadi al-Madkhali have Allah Ta'ala that he mentioned with regards to this portion of the treaties and I ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself. And the shaitan was sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.